Hello, my name is Dr. Alison Vaughan, and I work in the field of applied animal behavior and welfare. Some of you may remember me from last year, where I spoke about the exciting world of potty training cows. <laughs> now, for those of you who weren't there, please allow me to introduce the lovely UBC Cage star. Now, she was one of our calves who was part of our original proof of concept experiment. This experiment was simply to establish whether cows are able to associate a specific location and urination or defecation. In the case of our experiment, we actually chose urination, as it's easier to artificially stimulate. I'll be honest, we were surprised by the results. This calf here took one 15-minute training session to learn. So she knows what she's got to do. She's in the stall, she has to urinate there to open those doors in front of her and claim her milk reward. But you know, it's a bit like waiting at the doctor's when you need to give a urine sample. You can see she's trying here, but she maybe doesn't really need to go that bad. But she really wants that milk. So I like to imagine she's thinking of waterfalls, dripping taps. <laughs> it takes her just a few more moments, and there she goes. Off to claim her milk reward. Now, while UBC Cage Star was our fastest calf to learn, she was not the only one. In fact, out of the six calves, only one of them failed to learn in the short amount of time we gave them. And I don't know if you believe in coincidences, but that calf's name was UBC Cage Idiot. <laughs> Maybe there's something in a name. Now, training an individual animal, it's not too difficult, but training a whole herd becomes quite complicated. And that's where the technology comes in. So I collaborated with the University of British Columbia's engineering physics department, and this is what we came up with. This is the interactive camera urination and defecation training program, otherwise known as the ICUP. <laughs> we couldn't resist. So this consists of a visible light camera and a thermal camera. And this video here shows you a little bit of how the visible light component works. The program isolates the calves from their background, and it looks at these little blobs of black and white. If they fall within a specific range of sizes, it knows they're a calf. It's then able to track them from frame to frame, so at any given moment, we know where they are. For the urination defecation part, the thermal camera allows us to detect fresh urine and feces as a little point of bright white heat. So, at this point, some of you may be wondering, why is she doing this? <laughs> Why go to so much effort to potty train cows? And, you know, I get it. It's not your average hobby. But it is so important. One of the biggest challenges we have with keeping uh, large amounts of cattle happy and healthy and minimizing their impact on the environment is how we manage their manure. Now, when urine and feces mix, it releases noxious gases. And it also makes it harder for nutrients to be reclaimed, such as phosphorus. There is another way. By training cows to urinate and defecate in separate, specific locations, we can reduce their environmental impact. Not only that, we can improve the welfare of the cows by making the environment cleaner and more comfortable, but also by providing them with some environmental enrichment. So it sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Where are we now? Well, I'm delighted to say that the lovely people at the Leibniz Institute in Germany are now working on this project. And because all scientists like a silly name, theirs is called the Mulu. <laughs> now, they're just at the beginning of their cow potty training odyssey, but I am confident we're going to see some exciting results from them in the very near future, so look out for it. As for me, well, I now work directly with dairy farmers helping them to implement welfare improvements on farm and to try out new technologies. And that's what I want to share with you today. There is a lot of technology in farming. One example you may be familiar with is robot milkers. And these are exactly what they sound like. A big robot in the cow's pen that allows her to pop in and milk herself when she feels like it. No people involved. So now, instead of having to wait in line two or three times a day, the cow is free to spend her time lying in bed, going to get some food, hanging out with her friends, and yeah, going to milk herself when she feels like it. 
And you may be wondering, what does a cow do with all this spoof-free time? And that leads me on to our next piece of technology, automated cow brushes. Now, these are very, very common on farm now. They keep cows happier, cleaner, calmer. And uh, as I can see from you guys in the audience, it's hard to watch a cow enjoy one of these without smiling. <laughs> if you ever find yourself with a free... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly PG there. But... <laughs> if you ever find yourself with some free time, I highly recommend punching in cow brushes into YouTube and enjoying some videos of pure cow bliss. <laughs> now, you may be thinking that we're not that similar to cows, but actually a lot of the technology we use is very similar. Is there anyone here who uses pedometers or some kind of app or activity monitor? Yeah, a few people. Well, a lot of cows wear pedometers too. This allows us to monitor their activity and pick up on changes that give us insights into their health and fertility. In addition to this, we now have activity monitors which are able to detect calving. So in the lead up to calving, you can attach one of these to the base of the cow's tail. And cows really enjoy a quiet, calm environment with minimal disturbances during calving, much like people giving birth. This little device sends a text to the farmer's phone around an hour before calving. Most farms now have a camera mounted above the maternity pen so the farmer can monitor the progress of the calving without disturbing her. But he's still on hand to help out if there are complications. So farmers are a pretty ingenious bunch. And this next piece of technology, I have to confess to you, it's not that new. It's actually been around since the 1970s. I'm talking about cow aqua therapy. Now, the advantages are very similar to the advantages of aqua therapy in people. It improves circulation, and it promotes healing. So we actually get much better outcomes. The device that's used in BC, the float tank, was actually designed by a dairy farmer after he himself went through aquatherapy and thought, hey, I bet my cows would like this. <laughs> so we also have some technology to record what's going on on farms. These are herd management programs. And I like to think of them as being a little bit like social media for cows. So there's a timeline with the main events in her life, all the health events, all the highs, the lows. We know exactly what is going on with each specific cow, which makes it easier to spot when something's going wrong. This also creates a huge data set which scientists can use to figure out ways of improving welfare. I myself use herd management tools on farm to allow us to detect the farm's strengths and weaknesses so we can improve animal welfare. Now we are getting to the really exciting part. Are you ready for this? I'm talking about cow facial recognition technology. <laughs> I know. Now we're not quite at the stage yet where Betty the cow can look up and see what cows in famous historical paintings she most looks like. But it's out there. This technology has huge advantages. So now we don't have to attach devices to the cow. Rather, one device can serve a whole group. This makes it easier to afford for the farmer and less cumbersome for the cow. It gets better. This is one of the first examples of artificial intelligence in farming. This device is able to learn to identify specific behaviors, which naturally got me to thinking. I wonder if the future of potty training cows is artificial intelligence. So for the answer to that question, we're just going to have to wait and see. But if you've learned one thing from this talk today, I hope it's this. This new wave of technology has the power to vastly improve how we farm, reducing environmental impacts, uh, allowing Canadian farms, small family farms, to remain competitive in a global market, and most importantly, to improve the welfare of the cow that we depend on and who depends on us. Thank you. <laughs>